So we're getting a puppy. <laughs> I am so excited and nervous and overwhelmed and this is all happening so much faster than me and Paul thought it would but we went to visit the puppies on Wednesday and it, it all came about because someone who follows me on Instagram, Rawan, thank you so much for getting in touch. She said that her dog had had puppies from like a working sheepdog line um, and she was like you're welcome to come and visit them, there's four puppies left. And when we went to visit, there were only two left. And me and Paul were kind of like, okay, we're gonna go have a look. We're not gonna go in, like we're definitely getting one of these puppies. We're gonna see what it's like. We're gonna make our decision, maybe make contact with the breeder that's there. Maybe she's got a litter planned for later in the year. Cause we were originally thinking about getting a puppy nearer later in the year. But we went and both of us just kind of melted. There were two puppies left, a male and a female. And both of us were just kind of like, oh my God. And I was watching both of them and I noticed that the male was listening a bit more, was a bit more attentive to us, more focused on us, a little bit more submissive. The female was kind of like stealing things from him and had to be put on a timeout when we were there. Um, and I asked the, the farmers or the shepherds, who would you think would be better for training? And they both said the male because he listens better. So we're gonna get the boy. <laughs> we're gonna get the boy puppy. Um, very excited. Tomorrow we need to go run around and get everything for this dog. We have nothing. Me and Paul have never had a dog before, never had a puppy. We had Pika for two weeks, which was great. You know, that was a good test for us and we're confident that yes, we can keep a dog alive. We have enough time for it, we can do it. And one of the reasons why we really decided to go for this puppy now I mean, I don't think, is there ever a perfect time to get a dog? I don't think so. But from next week, we, the way our days off work, and this never happens, is for eight consecutive days, one of us is off every day. So Paul has two days off, I then have four days off, Paul then has one day off. So for a full week, there's going to be someone home with the dog. I can always take the puppy into work as well. But... You know, I'm going to be going in to work with a notebook and being like, okay, tell me everything I need to know about when this puppy needs his vaccinations, what he should eat, how often he should eat. Like, I've been messaging my dog trainer friends being like, help! Because, yeah, I'm a trainer, but I, I, I want to have a plan of this is what I'm going to train now, this should be the focus, this is what I should do. Like, I know it'll all be fine, but I'm just stressing myself about it because it's happening so fast. And if we're being honest, it's happening at a good time because we want to get married next June. We were going to go to Scotland in September, October, and that's when the other breeder was going to have puppies. So that would have been difficult. So at least now we have enough time for our puppy to get settled with us, get vaccinated, get the blood test that's required to be able to travel to Scotland. He already has his passport. So that by the time we want to go to Scotland in September, October, he can come with us because we're going to drive. So, all fingers crossed, but I'm so excited. He's so cute. We're not picking him up until next Thursday, but we have asked if we can go um, on Monday to just see him again so he can get used to us a bit more. And yeah, it's so exciting, but so scary. Okay, we are at our first stop, which is like a big garden center. I look like absolute shit today, so thank God for a mask. Um, but it's busier than we thought that it was gonna be. This is it here. Um, we're hoping we're gonna get the crate here. Have we found the crates? We found the crates. This one is way too tall. This one's too big. Yeah, but this one has, because I informed myself, this is the luxurious version because it has two doors. One on here, and one on here. That's yeah. fine, but it's too big for a dog. Yeah, but I think it's unnecessarily they have two doors. One the side. And so the only door is... <laughs> no, there's a... Yeah, just a door at the front, but that's fine. This is the right size, because um, we were told by the breeder... Well, I t did I explain it yesterday? I was being like so overwhelmed. I did like a whole intro. I have no idea what I said. The girl that had the puppies has taken the ones that were left to a breeder and the breeder has told us that our puppy is quite big. <laughs> Am I really stupid that I didn't realise it would be folded down? 
Like I thought we were just picking up that. Oh my god. Glad you're here. That must be so fun for you. <laughs> we're not going to get one, but they're really cute. I like the little bones on them. I'm coming. No, I like it, Paul. It's nice. Sore. It's nice. Why do you say that this is not comfortable? It Look feels like it. I've been fighting for two weeks in Rohan. Like I'm in, in Rohan? Yes. <laughs> That's a very specific, six, six. very specific Lord of the Rings reference. You never reference Lord of the Rings. All the time. Where did that come from? Come, sit. This looks comfortable. Sit. I'm sitting. You train the dog, not me. Good job. It's really comfy. Oh, it, it like, the air goes out of it. <laughs> if you want to go buy a chair, I... What? Oh, you prefer this? Okay. I like it though. Okay. No, I want nothing with the slogan on it. Mm -hmm. The dog can't read. Yeah, but I can. I put together a nice and stylish house. The dog will fit into that. And hopefully not chew in too much furniture. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is cheaper than the one at the vet surgery, even with my discount. Because the one at work with my discount is like 15 and this is six <laughs> clearly we're giving out good shit at the hospital so this store is very good value for money but it's making me want to buy all the toys oh kong toys i got him this little dragon because it's crunchy he's gonna love this and we got him a leash as well and we need a normal leash too Okay, this is what I need. Professional training bag. So it has a little opening for the poopy bags. Just a flap at the top so I can dip my hand in. And it even has a pouch at the front for my clicker. And, and it's less than five euros. A poop bag, yeah, it? and a little clip so I can just clip it on. So. Oh, but what if I'm... So, I didn't really see any bowls that I like. Paul really likes the idea of a standing bowl, but he is a puppy right now, so we'd need it to be on the floor. But, you know, this is just the first place we're going. We are going to an actual pet store after this. We just wanted to come here first because things are much less expensive. But I think for everything that we've got, touch wood, but I think we've got it all for quite a good price. So we managed to get quite a lot of stuff in there. Starting to finally feel excited. And it's finally starting to feel real. I've been so overwhelmed and genuinely really stressed about it just i think it's just because i want to do the best job possible and i want to make sure that we have absolutely everything perfect for him and oh i've really like i have barely been sleeping i fell asleep like midnight last night and i was up at five like oh my god but i think i'm feeling better now getting the stuff i already feel better like in there i was getting excited and starting to think about like different puzzle feeders that i can make and that's another thing you do not need to go and buy all of the expensive things for your dog. There are so many things that you can make for yourself. And I was literally just saying that to Paul because he was like, oh, we should get this, we should get this. And I was like, we could do that with paper cups. Like it doesn't take much. Um, as long as you're watching your dogs and making sure they're not ingesting anything or anything like that, of course. Um, but yeah, it's starting to get real and it's starting to get very exciting. All right, pet store number two this time. Well, the other one was like a garden center. This is actually a pet store. Teaming, we go over there. Where it says hond. Where it says hond, which is dog in Dutch. Paul, fish. where do you want to go? Fish. We can go see the fish. I'm about to get distracted by the really cute bunny rabbits, so. Hi. <laughs> oh, you're so fluffy. Oh, you're so cute. You're cute. Yes. You have such big ears. You're just unbothered. Okay, I'm really glad we didn't get a bed at the other place. They look, these look way nicer. I really like these ones. I really like these ones. You can already tell that the quality has gone a level up, but mm -hmm. the price will also have gone a level up. <laughs> like you can even choose your fabric. You can even choose your fabric for the dog's bed. I mean, why do I have a feeling that our dog is just gonna be incredibly spoiled? Oh, a llama! A llama! I'm sort of like a river dolphin. Yeah. Actually, no? No, it is. I, I thought it was a swordfish, but it is. 
I actually really like this material because it's very hard. And mm. <laughs> this little sea lion. Because he does like to chew on things and it's good to have a redirect for chewing so that he doesn't chew on the couch. So if he starts, I can be like, no, chew on this. But look at that price. What is that? But which one? Because there's sea lion. I also like the turtle. This turtle's nice, but... And then there's the whale shark. But the whale shark has weird lips. I think it's going to be the sea lion. Shit, I didn't even notice that. It's like a charity. Oh, so the toy you pick goes to help animals in need. This is amazing. So we want to help Australia, the Philippines, Ecuador, India, Sri Lanka. Oh, this is so cool. Now I want to buy them all. Okay, so these crates in here are literally double the price of the crate that we got. Lo, look. I just saw the prices and I've had a mini heart attack. This bed is very pretty. It's also ortho, which is good because border collies do have joint issues. <laughs> but look at the price. I could cry. Zooms. His head goes through here because this is the part where you can clip on. Yeah. Oh, but you have a clip on here as well. Where does legs go then? I don't know. This one's weird. <laughs> I guess for. Yeah, confusing. I don't know. Um, design. Uh, yeah, of this is my department. Oh, uh, needs to go see his fish. Yeah. He's on his way to the aquarium. I think we got an okay amount of stuff. Still, oh, I still need to get a clicker. Paul, I still need to get a clicker. Yeah. My eyes are closed. I promise they're closed and I look like an idiot standing in the middle of a store. My eyes closed. Are you just walking away and leaving me? No, look at this. I hate you so much. 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 Fuck off. I don't like them. You come and look. Go away. Come and look. No. Open the box. No. You're not gonna open the box. I <laughs> mean, don't open the box. <laughs> they are. No. I have a zoom. I'm zooming. Go put them back. No. Thank God it wasn't cockroaches. You want to model our puppy food? What we feed in it so everyone can leave comments. Yeah. Okay. So we have different food at work. We have pills, not royal canine, but puppies have very sensitive stomachs. So we're getting what he's being fed now and then I'll wean him off of it in a month or so. But yeah, now we're looking at food bowls. Right? It's very good food. Okay, no. It's expensive good food. Okay, I really like these dog bowls. And they've got a non-slip bottom. I like them. Who comes up with these slogans? Seriously. Yes, I need a clicker that's easy to a hold. And a, click. a clicker and a what? And a flute. A flute. You mean a whistle? A flouche. Flouche. I could just get my bridge out. No. It's really hard to get a feel of how it would feel in my hand because it's stuck on the cardboard. Why does this have like a it's a pointer. collapsible target stick? Yeah, so you can target the jumps. <laughs> Why is this like clearly very useful, but it also seems very, very silly? I'm gonna end up getting this one out of there. What is this? It's putting on your pants. This is just has everything in one, doesn't it? <laughs> I do like the click noise on this better. It's more subtle. This is like super aggressive. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get this one. The stick? Yeah. The green one or the red one? The green one. I think, yeah. Alright. Oh god. Look! 
It's a pet spa. So we're back. I'm gonna show you guys quickly some of the stuff that we got. This is where his bed is gonna go um, in the book nook. He's not really gonna sleep on the bed because we are crate training. So his crate is gonna go here. But this is just, you know, for him to be in if he wants to during the day. My God, we got some stuff. So a lot of it obviously were kind of first time, one time purchases that we needed to get, like his leash we got. We just wanted to get this rope one. Um, it's also adjustable for training apparently. What was it the woman said? Ooh, let me show you. So this you can adjust, obviously. Yeah. So if you want it, you can make it longer or shorter. And you can have like make a handle like this so if you want to eh, walk the dog you make a little handle mm -hmm. and otherwise you can eh, if you want to have it short you can just click both of them on the, on the popper and then you have a short release okay so you can <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that wonderful demonstration we also got him just a plain size adjustable collar um, because obviously he's little right now and then he'll get bigger, so we got him that. Um, I did actually order a toothbrush and toothpaste from the vets, but this was way cheaper. Um, so I got this. Um, obviously because he's a puppy, he's not gonna need too much and he's not gonna tolerate too much right now. So I'm just gonna start off training him with the little finger brushes, you know, being able, just desensing him a little bit to it, and then we'll work up to actually being able to brush his teeth. Um, obviously we picked up some puppy shampoo, but, you know, I'll test his fur first. Some poo bags, for obvious reasons. We also picked up puppy pads. I'm, I don't particularly want to have to use these because anytime, we'll have one down, you know, just in case he does have any accidents in the house and we don't catch it. Um, but because we're crate training him, hopefully we'll get him into a good rhythm of sleeping, taking him straight outside for a pee, bringing him back in, playing with him, him sleeping, outside for a pee, etc, etc. But we will have these down just in case. We're also going to roll up this rug until he is potty trained because I ain't risking my nice cream rug with puppy pee. That's not happening. Look how nice the photos look. Oh, I really hope that... The new, the next home reno vlog is going to be done soon. Our bed is getting delivered in a couple of weeks, so fingers crossed for that one. We also picked up a tick remover, very important as well. Um, I really like the bowls that we decided on because I, I'm not a big fan of the metal bowls. I don't know why, maybe it's because I work in the hospital and that's what we have. We did want the sticky ones at the bottom so they didn't move around too much, but these are the ones that we got and I think that they look quite classy easy to clean durable obviously we got two one for food one for water um we did get a extendable leash um i didn't realize these came in different sizes but we got medium size which our dog is a medium going to be a medium sized dog so we got this um we're not going to use this obviously until he's a little bit older you know when he's a puppy you want to kind of keep him close, especially until he's vaccinated. That's already been booked. Um, what else did we get? Okay, now we're kind of moving on to... I only got two little kind of treat things. Um, obviously, because he's a puppy and he has a puppy tummy, like I explained in the store, I got the same food that the breeder is feeding him now. Um, just standard puppy food. I'm also going to have some plain cooked chicken. Um, that he can have as a high value reinforcement but border collies are prone to joint issues and I know he's eight weeks old right now but fish and fish oil are very very good for healthy joints so I picked up some salmon paste um, I'm probably not going to use this until he's a couple of months old just to make sure that his stomach is okay but this could be really really good in the Kong toys or frozen, you know, lots of different things for his enrichment. Um, and then I also picked up some salmon standard treats. Um, so I think anything with some extra salmon in it is going to be quite good. 
I'm obviously trying to pick brands that seem pretty sustainable. I'm also learning, okay, so I want to avoid any, like, know-it-alls in the comments or unsolicited advice. I'm taking the advice of the vets I work with who really know their stuff and we are never going to put our puppy in danger. We're always going to do what is best for our puppy. Um, you know, obviously if we're out and you see us doing something dangerous, then okay, yeah, tell us. But just trust that we are doing what is best for our puppy and I'm going to research a little bit more of some supplements that I can give him when he gets a little bit older, etc, etc. Uh, <laughs> me being me, obviously, picked up some stuff for training. Um, I picked myself up the little pouch which I showed you guys um, and I also <laughs> picked up the clicker which you guys already saw as well and is it is it geeky that I'm really excited to start using this with him? I think it's gonna be fun. We got this Kong kind of toy where you can fill it with different things. I really like this one, it's not too big for him as he's a puppy, we'll probably get more as he gets older. I really was trying not to buy too much but we definitely bought more toys than I thought. Um, there's a couple that we bought in the first store that we could have done without buying but you know they'll come in handy. You know this one, I got it because it's got like different sensations, it's very tough, almost like a Kong. Um, so I'm hoping that if he really wants to chew different things, this will be good for that. I'm trying to do some redirect so he doesn't destroy the furniture. This is my favorite thing that we bought. This is my favorite thing that we bought. It's so crunchy. And when we visited, he had like a little plushy toy that was a bit like this that was ripped to pieces. Um, so I think he's gonna be a fan of that. We also got him a rubber ball reason we got him a rubber ball and not a tennis ball i work at a vet hospital that has professional vet dentists and they told me not to give normal tennis balls because the felt on them wears down the teeth of dogs uh i didn't know that apparently it does some of the vets that are there still do use normal tennis balls um but i thought let's just you know play on the safe side and get a rubber tennis ball and avoid any issues we got two different rope toys. One does have a felt tennis ball in it. And one is just a rope with a knot. Again, trying to give like different sensations and stuff that he can kind of play with. You know, this one has some frayed edges, this one doesn't. Um, again, just to allow him an outlet for that chewy and bitey and teary urge. Um, we got this is the sea lion toy where some money goes to the what am i trying to say what am i trying to say when, oh my god where the money goes to um charity for endangered species so this one money from this sale went to saving the endangered galapagos sea lions paul's mum turned up at the door and we were debating on what one to get with the Amazon River Dolphin version. So he now has two. So thank you very much, Monique. And the last thing we got is a puzzle feeder. Um, this one, very simple puzzle feeder. This was 10 euros. Um, the reason I got this one is because I think I can adapt it myself to make it more difficult. Um, this one, it says level two. They have levels one, two, and three. He is a puppy, so we'll see how he does with this. He's a smart puppy. I think he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, puzzle feeders are a great way, obviously, to stimulate your animals a little bit more. And he is a border collie, so he's gonna need an awful lot of mental stimulation, but a lot of this stuff you can make yourself. So I'm just gonna start saving up all of our toilet roll holders, see what crates we have outside and stuff, and hide stuff in it, and yeah, it'll all be fine. Big purchase was this bed. I did have a couple of people saying to me, oh, don't give him the bed straight away because he's a puppy, you know, he'll destroy it. We are not going to leave him near this bed unsupervised. The reason we got it is it's orthopedic, it's grey, and all of the covers come off of it so that we can wash it. So, yes, we're definitely going to be very, very careful. I did not spend 165 euros on that bed for nothing. Hello. It's very roomy. Is it? Yeah. And I mean, if I can fit in it. Go backwards a little bit. It is I, quite roomy. Yeah. Like I could just curl up 
Just, 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 uh, just check. <laughs> She's literally. <laughs> it's so soft. It is very soft. You lie in it. And it's a uh, orthopedic uh, mattress. So look at this creature with her thumbs. She can sneak out of everything. Almost. Good popper. Made it. Ugh. It's very comfy. Go in it. Experience it. Very soft. Very soft. It is. It's very comfortable. And it's the perfect size for our dog and also for the living room. So, yeah. Well, if I can feel it, you can definitely feel it. Yeah. It's going to be like, I'm like. Oh, it's going to be a palace until he's like a year old, so. I'm like five times his weight, so. <laughs> We are about five minutes away. We've just sat in like an hour worth of traffic. I'm very tired because I got the second dose of my vaccine this morning. But I thought I would tell you guys now because I cannot remember if I've said it yet, what we are going to call our puppy. What are we going to call our puppy? Whiskey. Whiskey. We have Whiskey the Border Collie. And why did we choose Whiskey? Because uh, Scottish. Yeah, I really wanted something Scottish, and I really like the name Whiskey for a dog. I like Whiskey in general. And <laughs> you just like Whiskey, so it worked. So yeah, let's go get ourselves a puppy. Yeah. 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 Zo stoïs hij is voorbij lopen, hè? Ja, maar helemaal niet snel. Echt op zijn gemak. Ja. Dan zeg ik ho, ho, ho. Whisky! Whisky! Nou. Bye! <laughs> Whizzy whisky! Hey! Er ligt al wat lekkers, joh. Pay attention at all. Whisky! Whiskey! Here! Whiskey! Whiskey! Here! Good boy! Your face! Your little face! You're spelen! You're spelen! Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey! Kinderboerderij. Wat is kinderboerderij in Engeland? Kinderboerderij. Petting, petting farm? Ja. Ja, dat is echt wel goed om dat te doen. Ja, ja, inderdaad. Bye bye. Ja, dat vinden ze zo leuk, hè? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where are we going? Right where are we going? Yeah. Whiskey, where are we going? We're going home. Oh. Yeah, I like the little scratches. Yeah, his little tail's wagging. Oh, we have a puppy. Hey, Whiskey. 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 
What's your head? Whiskey. What you doing? What you doing? What are you doing? Silly pucker. You were so happy and you know what did you do? So I haven't filmed anything since I think we were in the car with him, picked him up. Maybe I <laughs> He's like in a basket around your head. <laughs> he can't get out. He's stuck. Um, Paul and I are both deliriously tired. Uh, Paul's night shift. <laughs> Paul is also very ticklish, in case you can't hear. Paul's night shift last night, um, and I think I pretty much called him every hour, because this little, <laughs> this little cheeky, cheeky little muncher was crying the whole night. So I got no sleep. Paul very kindly let me go upstairs for a couple of hours when he came home and then I think he was I didn't really sleep though but I think Paul only got like five hours sleep today too so keeping my fingers crossed that tonight's gonna be better we are crate training him so we do have the crate here and he's been very very good going in all day playing with his toys he's had all of his meals and stuff in there as well um, but I think I would rather keep the crate positive than shut him in it and have it be really negative so I think I'm gonna block off with the crate here and give him access to here during the night mm -hmm. and just leave the crate open so he has the choice to go in the crate or not and fingers mm -hmm. crossed he doesn't cry and then I can go upstairs to bed. That is the plan. <laughs> 